taught you how to do this stuff. You, all right? I learned it by watching you. People of the internet, welcome back again. Today we are going to be checking out a rare accessory. I've been looking for one of these for a long time. Uh, this is a Sony BKM 14L, which is a color adjustment probe. And it's not like the probes you hear about with alien abductions. This is a light probe that suction cups onto the screen and there is a CCD, a charged couple device, just a CCD type camera that detects um, uh, the white balance and makes color adjustments automatically to your monitor, to a, uh, a multitude of monitors, um, specifically here the, the Sony D series, the D20, D24, and D32. So today I'm gonna be showing this cable, um, how it works. It comes with a just a mini DIN 8 connector, it's just a standard mini DIN 8 um, cable and it just plugs right into the front of the monitor. So let's check it out. All right, we are back here. Uh, welcome back. Um, what I've done is I've set the 14L just in the middle of the screen um, and I just plugged it into this uh, uh, mini DIN 8 connector here. So it's just plugged right in. Um, so, I mean, just a little bit of a disclaimer. I'm not a colorist. I don't do this for a living. I'm just a guy who happened to come across one of these. Uh, I did read page 33 on the manual. So um, all the information I'm giving to you is straight out of the manual, uh, page 33. I guess each, each model has different features that the 14L can utilize. Um, the D20, D24, and 32 all have the same uh, usability with the 14L. Um, other monitors have just white balance. Um, this one actually does uh, the color temperature adjustment as well. So uh, anyway, uh, so let's see. Um, so here we have the, the main menu screen. Um, we'll get into it right now. We go down to color temp adjust, hit enter. So these are the different color modes that we have, standard color one, color two, and then channel set, which you can adjust the probe per channel, uh, which I talked about in my other calibration video. There's different uh, channels you can set up depending on what input you want where. Um, so standard is like the universal um, setting for all the different um, colors, uh, or I'm sorry, all the different uh, channels that you'll be on, and then color one and two are just like alternate um, alternate settings, uh, save state. So you can save different settings uh, under standard color one, color two, or in channels. So, uh, so we'll start off with, I don't know, color two. I don't want to adjust my standard color yet. Um, hit enter. So now it gives us an option. You can do a manual adjustment, a probe adjustment. You can copy from um, one of the PCM CIA cards. Um, and I'm not sure what trim is, but um, we're gonna do probe since we have a probe. And there are different probes that you can use, which I found interesting. Uh, Sony, Grasby, Minolta, Philips, and Toma. Uh, there's different models. Uh, maybe I'll put a link in the description to the um, to the pinouts. Um, all of these probes are compatible with this monitor. However, you have to uh, you have to get a mini DIN eight to whatever the pinout of these probes is. Uh, since this is the official Sony probe, it's already obviously ready to go with the D twenty four. So we're going to choose the Sony BKM fourteen L. And there's uh, two settings under here. Um, adjust and analyze. So adjust, what that does is it adjusts the, uh, adjust performs the automatic white balance and color temperature adjust uh, adjustment. And then analyze displays the readout to analyze the monitor's performance. So what I kind of thought would be cool is doing a before and after just to see. So you, you could do analyze and that'll check what the current settings are at. So let's hit that set probe on CRT, it's done, so hit enter. Now it's gonna go through uh, 
right balance. And in a second here, it'll give us what the, here we go, what the uh, analysis is. So this is the color system and luminance readout. That's what it's called. The, um, the X and Y are the X coordinate of the color system. The Y is the Y coordinate of the color system. And the L is the display luminance value. Uh, honestly, I'm not exactly sure what those are. Uh, looking at this, it shows X at 0.261. Y at 0.277 and the L, the luminance value at 0.6. So that's the, that's the before reading. So I don't know, let's see, uh, let's see what happens when we menu out of here. All right, so now we're gonna do adjust and when we click adjust, that's actually gonna make adjustments to the monitor. Um, it says you can, uh, start with the owner's manual says you can adjust um, to what the if it's already been adjusted which this one has you don't you could just hit start you don't need to adjust what the X and Y coordinates are um, when the probe goes through the settings it's going to readjust those anyway so um, and then D65 and D93 what that refers to uh, D65 is the 24 and 32 inch and I uh, and I'm not sure where the D93 is, but the D65 is what this model is. So we're gonna hit enter, um, set probe on the TV. So let's see what happens. It's gonna adjust. So I'm not sure if it's coming through on the camera, but the white is like subtly shifting the colors as it goes. It's kind of cool. It's like, it has like a slightly blue hue and then uh, goes to white. So you can tell the monitors making adjustments, it's kind of interesting. All right, procedure complete. So after it's complete, we're just gonna hit enter. Now that the procedure is complete, we can go in and analyze and see uh, what's different. So let's go click analyze and see see what happens. So I'm back on the standard uh, color. I tried to do the color one with the color probe and it came back with an error. So, oh wow. Um, so now X, Y, and zero are all, I'm sorry, X, Y, and L are all at 0, 0.0 uh, before they were all over the map. So uh, that's kind of cool. Um, it did adjust it. Um, it looks very white to me and now but uh, so I mean it appears to work all the all the values are at zero I assume that means they're in line uh, not exactly sure on that but it did make a change um, and that's the results of it so I believe that pretty much completes the video um, thank you guys for watching I hope this was entertaining and as entertaining as a probe video can be. Uh, there's lots of probe videos, or I'm sorry, there aren't any probe videos, I don't think, of this uh, BKM 14L uh, on here. So, uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please comment or subscribe to the channel if you'd like. I appreciate your viewing, and I will talk to you later. Thanks. I learned it by watching you.